So White Wolf moves to uh, to Atlanta. Well, at the time, it was actually called Lion Rampant. Mm, okay. Um, so Lion Rampant moves uh, to Atlanta along with this other company called White Wolf Magazine. Now, okay. White Wolf Magazine and Lion Rampant decided they're going to merge and become one company in Atlanta called White Wolf Game Studio. Okay. Um, so and you were there for you did you were there for three years. This I, was uh, just I was there like. Before it was even that company, yeah. But I, 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 I wasn't like an employee as much as I was like a professional helper. Gotcha. You gotcha. see what I'm saying? So, I see it says game designer and a director of PR. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You like what do you want to do, son? <laughs> what do you want to yeah. call yourself? <laughs> well, yeah, well, it, it, it was well. White Wolf was so small then that. You know, you were, it, it was like you're Jamaican in that, you know, I'm the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. I got three I mean, jobs. I got, I got three jobs, yeah. you know, got to yeah. go to work, you know. So for me, um, when when White Wolf got there, when, when, when White Wolf, uh, yeah, really got there, uh, I remember going over there and, and talking to uh, the, the, the heads of, of, of the place, Stuart, uh, who's no longer with us, uh, Mark, and, and, uh, and Lisa. Now, Lisa was... You know, she was the you know the the person who sent me the you know the the the, the mail saying, "Hey, oh, you good?" Right. Yes. You know, you, yes. you know, and so on and so forth. You know, so I'm like, "Oh man!" Like, you know, I get to meet all these people and so on and so forth, right? So I came through, and I remember because Mark was like sitting on the couch, like eating blueberry pop tarts, <laughs> like <laughs> blueberry specifically. <laughs> I remember that. I remember Did you that. see the frosting and you're yeah, like, I know what that well, is. Well, first of all, I, I, you know, like you can't front on blueberry pop tarts, man. They don't, right? But but at the same time, I was like, man, like this is this is you know this is odd you know and and i and i just said to mark i'm like because he's you know mark was the game designer who made this magic system that i loved you know and so like he was like oh this is my idol like why is he like you know why he is eats he? the same thing i eat yeah, like what you know? are you doing and he and he and, you know it, it he's got a mouthful of blueberry pop tarts and he said yeah my mom never let me eat you know a pop tarts when i was little you know so now i'm just eating them all and they're actually watching glory on vhs you know the with denzel washington and i remember that like it was yesterday right and so I went over there, and within a span of a couple hours, I convinced them that I knew their RPG better than they did. That's awesome. Right. And they were like, hey, man, like, you want to go to shows and, and, like, be the storyteller, um, like, so that we could show people how cool everything is? And I'm 18, yeah. you know, and I'm like. Still, still a little green. Surprise, man! I'm yeah. I'm all the way green, right? <laughs> like, and, and at, you know, because you know, like, it's not it's not often where like you can, you know, those opportunities don't come up all the time, especially back in that time period. That's yeah, what you're to yeah, say. yeah. Well, well, not just that, but you you you're, you're sitting there with some of your idols, right? And they're telling you you're good enough. Right. Yeah. And so that's why, like, when, you you know, people people watch like, you know, these reality shows like So You Think You Can Dance or American Idol. And these people who are singers or dancers are sitting across the aisle from all these people and they go, you dope. I feel that. Yeah. That was a big saying? deal. Yeah. yeah I, a I big feel deal. that, you know, so. So. Um, so they say, yeah, so 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 let's do this. So now I'm working at a gas station, mm. going to school. And I actually start being a professional storyteller for them during conventions. Mm. Um, what were those conventions? Because like E3s, I don't think E3 was no, around no, oh, yet. No, like, what dude. kind of convention are you talking about? I'm talking about like RPG conventions, like okay. Gen Con, okay. Dragon Con, okay. uh, especially because we're in Atlanta. Um, so these are like pen and paper comic conventions, mm, okay. right? Um, and I kind of got over still being the only black person. You know, but it, it 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 was what it was. Now, uh, so White Wolf becomes a thing. Um, we start working on this game that I think was, aside from you know, in my opinion, and you know, look, I'm biased here, but aside from Dungeons and Dragons, like. The storyteller system in the world of darkness and vampire, you don't get more OG as far as role playing games, and that's what we did in you know eighty nine and 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 ninety. Mm -hmm. uh, we started, 
you know, gothic horror story uh, RPGs. Mm. Um, so I was always, if, if I wasn't, if I wasn't in school, if I wasn't at my job, mm-hmm. I was at White Wolf. Um, and they said, look, Travis, like you're here all the time. Like seriously, you're here all the time. Like, why don't you just work here? Like you oh, know, that's uh, even the best way too, because they even just why don't you just work here, man? That's yeah, awesome. yeah. And yeah. so you didn't even have to ask for a job. It's like they're <laughs> just like, when we can, when can we put you on payroll? When right. do you want to start? Yeah. And so for me, you know, now I'm a year away from graduating out of DeVry, mm-hmm. and I said, okay, so I got a decision to make. Do I get myself more in debt mm-hmm. and finish out this, you know, and, and finish this out and then go try to make games or do I just continue to make games? Oh, wow. Okay. Crazy. Crazy. So like, so did you, so you didn't, you didn't finish school in DeVry? You no. left early? Like an NBA was, star? Was, you were just yeah, like, was, just, yeah well, there was no point, son. I got drafted, right? Like literally, I got drafted, man. right? And And so, um, so where all those positions come in, like director, PR, game designer, you know, this, that, and the other, it was just because there was only like four employees at, oh, okay. at, at, okay. at White Wolf at the that's time. The, that's a big deal. Right, yeah. everybody else. And, and so to get there, to do what you needed to do, there was a lot of hats that, that people had to wear, and PR was 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 one of them. Just because I was always on the front lines. I was the person – Telling the stories, running the games, and and, and so on. Yeah, so you became the face of the studio at that at that time, right? Yeah, that's awesome, man. No, that's, that's awesome. scary. Uh, <laughs> you know, so like, so so when it comes to, um, you know, role playing games, or 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 where I come from, you know, so so that was it. And 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 it's strange when you think about it because as soon as I got on, and and. You know, and I can tell a lot of stories. I'll just uh, I'll spare you. But the Lisa, yeah, who same Lisa, same Lisa, she was like, you know what? Like White Wolf's cool, but I kind of want to do my own thing. Mm. You know, I you know I got some I got some plans I want to do, and, and and so on and so forth. And I'm like, well, Lisa, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you know, we're in Atlanta chilling. You know, everything's good. Like, you know, what what are you gonna do? And she says, I, I'm gonna move to Seattle. Right. And I'm like, OK, so, we, yeah, we'll, we'll start a company, you know, see how that see how that works and, and, and so on and so forth. And I'm like, OK, I mean, you know, we you know, and so I re- you're like, everything is good here. Why, yeah, why are you yeah, going to yeah. change? Why are you going to change? So now. So so check this out. So so finally, um, I, I, I talked to Lisa later and she said, we yeah, we came up with a name for the company. We think it's going to do well and all this other kind of stuff. I said, what's the name of the company? She says, Wizards of the Coast. I said, that's a dumb name. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 You know, so Lisa, yeah, the person who got me in the industry was one of the founders of Wizards of the Coast. So, oh, that's awesome. um, so I was there during the whole Magic the Gathering through, you know, all the mm-hmm. Pokemon stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, so like, and so, that was the first that was the first time where I felt like, man, lightning in a bottle, but it, you know it's a recurring theme for me and it, <laughs> that's awesome, man. that's awesome. So we're gonna go up White Wolf and then producer at Game Tech. So you were there in Atlanta for three years mm-hmm. and then you moved to go to Game Tech. Yes. so oh man, was there any regrets not going to Wizards of the Coast, not following Lisa? And, no, no. Or was there an opportunity there or not? I or? mean, there were plenty of opportunities. It seems like she at, was at, like saying, we should start a business together. No, like she oh, was okay. like, I got to get out of here. Oh, okay. You know, okay. and I was like, I don't know. That's pretty good here. I should, you know, do my thing here. So yeah. stayed at stayed there for uh, at White Wolf for a while. But, you know, the, the thing was is that I was always put in front of video game companies mm-hmm. and uh, said, hey, you know, we should we should do something, you know, with you guys, which started my you know process of actually getting to know even more of my idols. 